Hey what's up guys, this is going to be another Android Studio tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to send push notifications to your app. So on the right here I just have um, like a basic layout for my like from my authentication tutorial but you don't actually need to have anything in your app, you just have to add push notifications. So I'll do a little demo here and we'll send the first message to the app. So I'm just going to send this is a push notification and we'll go down here to the user segment and select the target. We're going to select an app. So this is the project that I'm going to send the push notification to and that's all we need to do and send. And if we look at the app we can see there's a push notification that was received and there it is right there. This is a push notification. If we click on it, it takes us back to the app. Now we'll try to send the push notification with the app in the background. So I'm just going to duplicate that message. Everything's the same. Hit send message, send, and we can see up there we saw push notification. And we can see it's a different color here. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. But once again, if we just click on here, it just brings us to the app. So pretty simple, should be a nice and short tutorial. All right, so let's create a new project and add it to our Firebase console. We'll go to project settings and go to add an app, add Firebase to the app. If you need more information on how to add Firebase to, to your app, check out my video on, it's called What is Firebase? I'll put a link right here and it shows you how to add Firebase to your application. But since I've already gone over that in previous videos, I'm just going to skip ahead. We don't actually need to add a layout to this project, so I'm not going to bother. We're just going to jump into writing the code right away. First thing as always, create our tag. Since we're just going to go over push notifications, we don't actually need to write anything in main activity. The first thing we're going to do is create a new Java class and we're going to call it Firebase Messaging Service. Now we'll import the dependencies for push notifications. So we'll go to Tools, Firebase, down to Notifications, and add the dependencies. And then we're going to click up here on this little link that says Launch in Browser so we can take a look at the documentation. Then click on Notifications Guides down here. And here's all the documentation for receiving and handling push notifications. So we can see here it says uh, to receive messages use a service that extends Firebase messaging service. Your service should override the on message received and on deleted message callback. So we'll go back to our project. First thing we'll do is insert our constructor for the Firebase messaging service object. Then we'll go to override methods and we can see we have on message received and on deleted messages. And that's what it said in the documentation we need. So we need uh, on message received and on deleted messages callbacks. So we'll just stick those in there and we can delete the super. So now we'll go back to the documentation and see what we need to do next. We go down, we see, okay, we need to edit the app manifest right here. So we'll grab this and add this to the apps manifest. We're just going to stick it right below the activity. Oh, looks like I spelled messaging wrong. So we'll refactor that. Okay, now let's go back to the documentation and see what we need to do next. Well, here's some features for customizing your push notifications. So I'm going to use this one right here. If you remember my demo, the push notification when the app was in the for in the background was red. This is how you change the color. So we can just copy this and paste it down here. And this is going to give us that red color for the push notification when it's in the background. Now we're done in the manifest. Let's go back to the documentation again. Okay, that's pretty much all we need from the documentation for this tutorial. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the push notification now. So we'll go into our on message received method and we need to create a title and a message. So we can get the title and the message by using the remote message here, getting using get notification and then get title or get body. And actually let's stick a log in here so that we can log when the message is received also. Oh, and I forgot to make a tag, so we'll stick that up top too. Okay, now we're ready to create our push notification. Somewhere on the Firebase website, I found this a link to this GitHub page. It's like an example to create. Yeah, I can't remember how I got here, but anyway, it's like an example to create a push notification. Um, so here's basically what we have. We have our Firebase messaging service, our on received, and what they recommend doing, if you go down here, you can create this method called send notification. And basically this will build a push notification for you. So we can just copy this whole thing here. Go back to our app and let's paste it down here. And the other thing we need to change is this right here. There's no image with that name. So we can just use our, we can change this to mipmap and use IC launcher. You can use whatever image you want. That's just the only one I have in the project. So here we go. This is like an easy way. All we need to do is pass the message and it will create a push notification. But we want to also send the title. So we need to add that parameter. 
So add the title up top here, and then go down to this section where they have put in a title, and then just replace that with title. There we go, now with basically no work at all, we've created a method that makes us a push notification. So we'll just call that method up here in our on message received, and pass the title, and pass the message. And if you want more information on where I got this, uh, I'll put this link in the description. Like I said though, I can't remember where, I, I found it somewhere on the Firebase documentation, probably an example somewhere, but I'll put the link in the description. And the last thing we need to do, oh no, I already did that, I added the color. So I think we're done, we can run it and test it. Oh, you know what, I forgot to add internet permissions. Okay, now we're done, now we can test it. Okay, so we'll go to our Firebase console and go down to the notification section and I'll create a new message. I'm just gonna say uh, test message. Since we added a title section, let's go down to advanced options and add a title. I'm just gonna call it Mitch's test message and we need to select the app that we're sending it to, uh, which is push notifications, and then scroll down to the bottom and send message. Let's see if push notification is received. Let's pull it down. There's my test message. So now let's put the app in the background and let's duplicate the message. Go on the bottom, send, send, and we can see a push notification is received and it's red, just like we said it in the manifest. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave a like below. Check out the links to my social media platforms in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.